we have managed to avoid Liverpool in the draw for the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Chelsea have managed to swerve Liverpool. That is all that mattered. That is the only thing that we were prioritising. Chelsea have been drawn to play Middlesbrough. Liverpool will play Fulham, which sets up nicely a tie of Chelsea versus Liverpool at Wembley. A chance for Chelsea to enact revenge for the two domestic finals where Liverpool beat us very, very recently. Liverpool got there at a canter. Fairly recently, we've watched Liverpool play at Anfield and struggle to break down a Manchester United team, a stubborn Manchester United team. Yes, Liverpool had all the play, all the possession, all the shots, all the stats, but ultimately didn't have anything to show for the game. And when you think about the chances that they created, although Liverpool did have eight shots on target, which is the same amount of shots, ironically, on target that they had when they won 7-0 against Manchester United, they didn't really threaten. I think the best chance that fell to anyone that day was probably the chance to Hoyland. And the best chance that Liverpool created against Manchester United was probably the chance that Canate fashioned for himself with that kind of pirouette move. So Liverpool bounced back to winning ways today. Tonight against West Ham, they were simply sensational. They were truly brilliant. They were mesmerising. They were dazzling. And it was a statement of intent. Watching them... Play football tonight was a genuine statement of intent. You could see that Liverpool fully intend to bring that cup back to Anfield. It's a cup that they have won so many times. They have won it nine times. It is a trophy that they are so familiar with. It's their trophy. Manchester United have had a brief dalliance of owning that trophy, but it was only ever on loan. This is Liverpool's trophy. They have won it nine times and clearly from the way that they played tonight, from the way that Klopp set up his team, from the way that they were so demanding, from the way that Klopp was demanding more noise from Anfield, from the new stand, barracking the fans to get behind the team. You can tell that they desperately want this trophy because it feels like it's theirs. Now, look, Chelsea have a rich record in this competition. I rate the League Cup. I really do. And we've won it five times, which I consider to be very very significant, a huge achievement and something that I am desperate to add to. I would love it if Chelsea can somehow go to Wembley and win this trophy. I cannot empathise with anybody who is sneery about silverware. You know when people say, oh, they don't particularly want to win this trophy or they don't value this trophy or they would rather that their team weren't competing in this trophy or they refer to this competition as a distraction. Now, look, if you are that way inclined, fine, but I do not understand that. I cannot rationalise that sentiment. I cannot explore those feelings because I am desperate for Chelsea to win this trophy. This has been a poxy, poor, terrible, dreadful, hateful on many levels and a season that we will potentially want to forget. I feel like this is our only chance and we've avoided Liverpool. You know, Liverpool in a one-off game, maybe. A one-off game at Wembley, maybe we can beat them. But they were so good tonight. They really were. And they basically cruised into the semi-finals. It was a real show of force at Anfield. And off the back of the frustration that they would have felt on Sunday, it was the perfect response. I thought uh, Curtis Jones was brilliant. Harvey Elliott was excellent as well, deserves a mention. But there really was just so many positives and a clear demonstration of how Liverpool feel about this season. They are serious. You know, and you could see quite how much this competition and tonight meant to them with the way that they celebrated at the end. They went wild. You know, Klopp was really enjoying the celebrations, hugely passionate. And to a man, the team were on board with it. The celebrations were there. You know, celebrating the fifth goal. They scored five goals tonight. And they were celebrating the fifth with the same vigour that they were celebrating the first. They were keen. They were up for it. And... The fact that they won 5-1 against Premier League opposition, Premier League opposition who were decent, on a good, rich vein of form, who had 6,000 fans out there all behind that goal in the Anfield Road, going mad, thinking that they could add to the silverware that they won last year. It's a big result for Liverpool. It really is. And they were genuinely excellent. Like the 5-1 scoreline doesn't flatter them. If anything, it flatters West Ham. West Ham were really struggling today. They were all over the place. They weren't particularly good. They were they were stodgy. They struggled. They didn't have any sort of rhythm. It took them ages to get going. And yes, Jared Bowen scored a, a beautiful goal. You know, cut in right foot, did everything right. But it took them ages to get going. And I tell you what, Liverpool now, going into that game this weekend, 
against Arsenal, they're going to be in a really strong frame of mind. Goal scoring, free flowing, winning again off the back of that stunted performance against Manchester United. But a word for West Ham. Shockingly bad tonight. Really, really bad. Like, their defence will run ragged. Ogbono all over the place. Like, they struggled, you know, really struggled. And they didn't really offer anything going forward. The only player who really turned up was the birthday boy, old Jared Bowen. Um, scored a great goal on his birthday. But I tell you what, West Ham will be desperate to swerve Liverpool in the Europa League. They really will not want to play them in that because this was about as one-sided as the game can get. Liverpool had 29 shots. West Ham had two. Liverpool had 49 touches in the opposition box. West Ham had five. In terms of a thrashing, can you really think of a more obvious thrashing? Have you ever seen stats such as that? It was it was ridiculous. And I'll tell you what, Moyes needs to have a look in the mirror there. He's got it wrong tonight. He really has. They were abysmal. And their defending on various occasions tonight was nothing short of a disgrace. I know people tell me that there was an illness in the camp and they didn't really have any team and Moyes was deprived of some of his star players. But, I mean, come on. You have the chance of a semi-final. You have to turn up more significantly than that. Um, so, it is this. Middlesbrough will play Chelsea. Liverpool will play Fulham in two legs. And on the 22nd of January, we will know who's going to the final. Chelsea could go to the final to play Liverpool. We've played Liverpool in numerous finals recently. I'll always remember Ramirez scoring in 2012 at Wembley. What a day that was as Chelsea went on to win. Not the double, but a double, a significant double, including the European Cup. Liverpool obviously won the two domestic trophies fairly recently when it looked like they could have done a treble. We lost both domestic finals to Liverpool that year and that was that was truly painful. So this is this is going to be exciting. Um, and look, Chelsea playing Middlesbrough, it's a repeat of the 1998 uh, final when Chelsea beat Middlesbrough 2-0. Uh, Frank Sinclair and Roberto Di Matteo both scored for us that day. So hopefully we can... Uh, we can use our, our victory yesterday where we somehow managed to get past Newcastle, a result that I didn't think were possible. And this season could yet be not necessarily successful, but significant. If Chelsea can somehow get to Wembley and win silverware this year, it will make this season not a total write-off. Any year where you win a trophy is a good year. Any year where you plant your flag, you make history. Forever, in 100 years, people will look back and say, 2024, Chelsea won their League Cup. If we can make that true, it will make this season just about palatable. But this is our last chance. People keep telling me that the FA Cup hasn't started yet for Chelsea. You know, the third round doesn't start till January. But let's face it, we have a chance in this competition because Middlesbrough are our opposition in the semi and we have to hope that Fulham get there. The FA Cup is going to be too strong for us. You know, we are lucky that West Ham knocked out Arsenal and Manchester United were knocked out by West Ham and whatever. That is why we have a chance in this trophy because, sadly, we are a very beatable team. But I am prepared to dream. The draw has been kind. We've got Middlesbrough. Fingers crossed Fulham can do us a favour An all West London final. When did we play them? 2001, we played them at Villa Park, Fulham in a semi. John Terry scored, I think. Could have a, a repeat of that, but in the final rather than the semi. Thank you for watching. Please click subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good night.